This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Friday, February the 15th, 2019. It's the feast day of Blessed Michael Sapolko, who was a Polish priest who taught spiritual theology at Stefan Batory University in Vilnius. In 1933, a young nun from the nearby Congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy, who had a lovely convent just down the road devoted to perpetual adoration, wrote him asking if he would be her spiritual director. Now by this time, he had been a spiritual director at the seminary for seven years and a priest for nearly 20, and so he agreed easily enough. But it turned out to be anything but easy enough. The young nun had been having very intense visions of Jesus, and he had asked her to commission a painting in which Jesus had two beams of light emanating from his heart. The image would have a single line of text at the bottom, in Polish, which would translate simply to, Jesus, I trust in you. Father Michael believed the young sister's experience was genuine, and so he asked an artist teaching at the college, Mr. Eugeniusz Kosmirovsky, to speak with the sister. The young sister was, of course, named Faustina. The image would go on to be called the Divine Mercy. And Father Michael would deliver the first sermon encouraging devotion to our Lord's divine mercy on Friday, April the 26th, 1935, just two days before the first ever celebration of Divine Mercy Sunday. Today is also the feast day of another young priest, Father Claude de la Colombière, who was the spiritual director of another young nun, St. Margaret Mary Alacoque who was also the recipient of intense visions of Jesus and who was asked by the Lord to foster devotion to another image of the heart of Jesus, this time the sacred heart. The image with its thorns, the wounded side, and the fire would not be displayed for Margaret Mary or Father Claude to see. It was Paris in the 1600s that our Lord appeared to the young nun and the Jesuits who were providing spiritual direction for the Sisters of the Visitation were skeptical. Only Father Claude realized that Sister Margaret Mary was not benefiting from these visions in the typical sense, but she was suffering at the hands of priests and nuns who thought that she was just seeking attention. When he took the time to listen to her, he realized that her story had all the hallmarks of a real mystical locution, and so he asked her to tell him everything. Even when he was sent along to England and on further to southern France, he continued to direct her by letter. And within a hundred years, the Jesuits would become the preachers of devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And the devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus would become the central devotion of the French School of Spirituality, which would become the spiritual model of the colonial era of evangelization and catechesis, and would, of course, establish the foundation for American Catholicism. Today is the anniversary, finally, of Decimal Day, 15 February 1971. British coinage went from 240 pence in a pound with 12 pence in a shilling and 20 shillings in a pound to one pound sterling, equaling 100 pence. Needless to say, it was a bit of a stormy moment. Coins ranging from half pennies to florins were in circulation and they had to be exchanged or converted. Those local merchants, with a bit of a libertarian bent, continued to buy and sell in old coins, and of course, Ireland was slower still to get on board. It took them until 1979, but now all those old coins are very collectible, and the new system makes possible the 99p breakfast menu that we've all come to know and to love. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.